words of the Lord from the prophet Micah, chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and peoples will stream to it. Many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between many peoples, and will settle disputes for strong nations far and wide. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war any more. Everyone will sit under their own vine, under their own fig tree, and no one will make them afraid, for the Lord Almighty has spoken. All the nations may walk in the name of their gods, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. Let's pray. Yahweh, we lift your name high today, excited by the description of your plans and purposes for us as described by your prophet Micah long ago. Your faithfulness over centuries to continue to carry out your mission and to lovingly bring us along with you towards its completion that, that astonishes and it comforts us. So now we offer to you our worship, our praise and adoration for all you are and all you continue to accomplish. For your plans and purposes, may we be always available. Amen. Whoa.
trust in power, some trust in banks, some trust in armies, missiles and tanks, some trust in people while God is ignored, but we trust in the name of the Lord, we trust in the Lord, we trust in the Lord. Trust in feelings, what they can touch. Some trust computers, software and such. Some trust attention in being adored. But we trust in the name of the Lord. We trust in the Lord. We trust in the Lord. In the name of the Lord, we trust in the Lord. 